looking at this little handout. Everybody get one of these green handouts besides uh, the, uh, the song sheets. It's fascinating. And I found information about Johnny Appleseed that I didn't know before. Did you know his real name is John Chapman? Yes. Right. Yeah, and his, uh, his background is very interesting because, you see, his great-great-great-grandfather, way back in England, used to be in the orchard business, and they were planting apples then, and handed on down until the northeastern part of our country, where John Chapman also became an apple planter. But you know, he had some very interesting expressions. And uh, I, I've always been so fascinated with all that he's handed down. And I'd like to hand down one of them to you. Now, you know, uh, like right in here, it talks about if you slice an apple on the side, you'll see a perfect star or up and down, a pair of angel wings. Uh, you may have noticed that in your hand out there. Um, Uncle Paul, could you, oh good, now uh, slice an apple on the side. Just one half of that, please. Slice an apple on the side. There you are. And you see a perfect star. Or, up and down, a pair of angel wings. And it really does work. Can you see that? That's what fascinated me. I figured he could tell it in his way. I would like to tell you about it in my way. Slice an apple on the side, and you see a perfect star. Or up and down, a pair of angel wings. Holding seeds of love for flapping near and far from the giver of this heavenly fruit and all the joy it brings for nothing crunches like an apple, nothing crunches like an apple, giving seeds like an apple, giving seeds like an apple, it was sad. fascinated with the stories about John Chapman, Johnny Appleseed. And if you look at your handout, you'll see one of the stories is how he would go into the frontier areas of the Ohio Valley and try and help people find a new home. Well, he would go and show them alongside of a stream where they could build their cabin. And then he would come along later and he would try and help them get better acquainted with each other as neighbors. And I was especially fascinated with the fact that he was able to get these people to better communicate with each other because a lot of them could not read or write. And so they tried 
to get him to come and see them more often. <laughs> he was always welcome, you know. Oh, those people would want him to come and plant another apple seed so that they could have a brand new tree in the back of their cabin. Well, he probably be greeted by a the family dog wanting to be sure and have him be welcome. Well, now Johnny would communicate with these people with something that was very important to him, and that was from his heart. He would share the words out of the good book. Oh, and one of his favorites, of course, would be, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He walketh me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He restoreth my soul. When I heard that, it helped me understand a lot of the people of that area didn't know what there was to look forward to. What are they going to make out of their lives? How are they ever going to be able to communicate? And that's when they started talking to each other and reading from the Bible. They found answers to a lot of things they didn't know before. And one of them was to how to communicate with Johnny Appleseed and welcome him back again. Because, you see, out there in the back of their little cabin, they had just the spot where they wanted to have a special apple seed put into the ground and see a nice big apple tree in a couple of years that Johnny could come back and visit them again. I thought that was an exciting story, especially when Johnny would go with his little group and the kids would all lead him out there and he'd find just the right spot. He'd take a shovel dig a little bit of dirt out of that hole. And then he would take his mush pot and he'd go down to the creek and get some water in it and get some moss. Then he would come and find a very special seed to put into that special hole. And those special people would have an example of what love could really be like from Johnny Appleseed. It's coming right straight toward us. 
and I can hear them follow the Yes, look out, look out, you are going to be killed. Get out of the bay. My horse is running away. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I'll be all right. I'll just look at that horse. Right straight in the eye. And he's coming to me. More slowly. Look out! You are going to be killed! Billy wanted to, please. Billy wanted to. Oh. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on. Come up closer. Look at the ass. Right here. There's an apple for you to munch on. Let me wipe. This might offer your problem. <laughs> But how, how in the world did you stop my horse? Well, I just looked him in the eye and said there's nothing to fear. Yeah, I know, but I don't understand you. Oh, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Babbitt, can I have still for Tell me, tell me, what happened? I've been standing here watching you coming down that hill. And I see that your cabin is aflame up there. Yeah, we are lost every day. We have no place to go. Again, what about you? Look at the, the shirt. You have no shirt. That way. Yeah, I had to give it away to my wife to keep her warm. Well, now I'll tell you, there's no problem there at all. Here, I'll give you my shirt and you can put it on. Yeah, but you are going to get cold. Oh, don't worry about me. <laughs> I will just put on this old <laughs> yeah. Yeah. coffee set. Sure. <laughs> and wrap. Mike, red line, please, Mike. And we'll rope around her here and I'll be as good as new. Yeah, but my friend. If you are going to get cold, you will not be able to make it. Oh, yes, I will. And so will you, my friend, because as long as you've got your faith, you've got your future. Now, you go right on down. These wonderful people over here will be glad to help you. They'll give you clothing. They'll give you a good night's rest. They'll give you a chance to be thankful for all your tasks. Uh, uh, go ahead and have a good night's rest. Do my best to your family. And I am going to just I lean up against this old tree over here. Oh, oh, no, oh. I am so beat after the day that I put through, but uh, uh, <coughs> Oh, it's good to relax for just a moment. Yeah, you know I keep thinking all these things are going through my life. Why people are saying to me, you look weird. The children say that I, uh, I am, uh, I'm just an old man, an apple seed man. <laughs> I'm proud of the fact that they know me and want to share with me and sing songs and take little bodies with me. Oh, but Lord, I don't understand why it is you have in mind for me to do. Uh, uh, was it a dream? Were there a thousand angels calling in my dreams? And did they plant the seeds of miracles to blossom as one? One voice to use me, and now I've begun a new life in my life. To be that rid of every load. When the spirit has love, then the seedlings will grow. Jan, red light, please. Jan. <laughs> Get up. Beautiful sunlight. It was 
a beautiful dream. And I am so thankful that I have this life. He wake up in the morning, the good earth for his bed, and sometimes pluck an apple from the branches overhead. Then save the core to share with us as God supplied his need. From the seeds came the apple, from the apple came the seeds, and along came Johnny. There was a spirit for everyone to enjoy and share, because he knew everyone everywhere could feel that communication with each other. And along came Johnny with the children of the land, with their funny looking, storytelling, apple seed man. When those folks were going hiking, and the one that take the lead. 